How's it going, YouTube? This is not the typical place for the uh, airline and electrical cable holder to be, but the reason that's there for the moment is because the bracket it was mounted to, this piece right here, snapped off the truck. Fortunately, it wasn't in one of those situations where it became unrecoverable or things went really sideways really quick. It, you know, for, it snapped off at a more advantageous time, but because it typically would be here and is now, of course, here, and this used to be attached to the reverse of this, those three holes right there, that left me with a bit of a problem because every now and again, I'm not gonna have one of these handy trailers to uh, hold my cables. And eventually I'm gonna need to have this situation in place in order to make sure that my cables aren't flopping around at random. But the conundrum now becomes securing it because quite fortunately on the T680 fairing, I have no idea why this is the case it is, or the, the way it is, but it just, it is what it is. And you can see back in here, right there, that is a threaded screw hole that happens to fit this bolt that came off, that actually came with, or came off of the uh, this whole assembly when it was attached to the broken bracket. And it made it up perfectly with this part of the fairing. Now, truth be told, this is kind of an awkward spot to put the cable holder, but at the same time, it sure does beat drilling into this component or this uh, piece of the, the rear bulkhead when I have no idea what exactly is behind it and of course requires now trying to make sure that I have things set up so it clears my fuel fill port. Honestly, I like having it right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can get a hole drilled through here and then get a lock washer and a nut to go back on there. And call it good. Because the vast majority of the time that I'm operating this truck, it is attached to a trailer. Rare is the time when it is not uh, hooked up to at least a typical 53 foot drive in so every now and again I am gonna need that bracket there so I figure you know what gotta make sure I have it I've been racking my brain on this situation for a couple of weeks now trying to figure out what to do with that bracket and now a solution appears to have presented itself I guess the question now is making it all the way permanent because I don't trust just having one bolt to hold this thing on it's a little shaky I do want to punch a hole through there and make sure this is going to go anywhere at random, just for that extra bit of security. So that's the next step. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. See you next time.